You are listening to Productivity Straight Talk with your host, Amber De La Garza. Amber is a sought-after productivity coach, trainer, speaker, and writer who gives entrepreneurs the straight talk on personal productivity. No BS fluff or overused jargon, just actionable strategies to get results and succeed in business. And here is your host, Amber De La Garza, the productivity specialist. Welcome, and thank you for listening to Productivity Straight Talk. Today is episode 125. How do we eliminate what's holding you back? If you're an entrepreneur or business owner who wants actionable solutions to maximize profits, reduce stress, and make time for what matters most, then you're in the right place, and I'm so glad you've joined me. My goal for today's episode is for you to recognize when you are telling yourself or thinking self-limiting thoughts that are holding you back from success. I'm also going to be sharing with you ways in which you can not just identify those self-limiting thoughts, but how you can challenge those so that you can make monumental moves in your business. Before we jump into today's topic, I want to let you know about Leverage Lab. Leverage Lab is my six-month group coaching and training experience. It's a business accelerator that will take you from surviving to thriving, both personally and professionally. And if you've ever thought of, oh my gosh, what would it be like to work with Amber? Or what would it be like to take these amazing little nuggets that I'm getting and tip of the iceberg tips that she's sharing with me each and every week and go deeper, then this is the program for you. I have literally created this program to give you the ability to have coaching sessions, hot seat sessions, Q&A with a community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are really, really in it to win it. And they, like you, want to create a business and life that they dreamt of and not be overwhelmed and not be stressed out but really come with the skill set of being able to manage themselves, their time, and their people. Throughout the program, I will be sharing with you how to leverage yourself, your time, organization, and people. To find out more about the program and to see if it's a fit for you, head on over to theproductivityspecialist.com forward slash leverage lab. Once you head over there, if you know it's a fit, then just click, yes, I'm in. But if you read all the way through it and you're still not sure, is this a fit for you? Is it the right timing? What exactly and how exactly will it impact your business and life? Then let's get on a phone call. Look, I'm a straight talker. I'm a straight shooter. That's what you come here for each and every week. And I am here to tell you that if it is a fit, we will find out together. I'm just going to jump on a call. I want to know what your goals are. What are your challenges? And if that's in alignment with what I know will happen for you inside the program, I'll let you know. If it's not, no worries. At least we know. You can even book that call right now by heading over to theproductivityspecialist.com lab call. Okay. That's theproductivityspecialist.com forward slash lab, L-A-B-C-A-L-L, And we will get on a call, 30 minutes, find out what you're looking to do, talk to you about your goals, and see if the program's a fit. Hey guys, so I first want to address with you, maybe you have wondered about, well, what happened to last week's episode? And I wanted to bring this first and forefront because I did actually get several of you that reached out to say, I was reloading my podcast player and I didn't see an episode. Was there something wrong? What did I miss? Because you have honestly been looking forward to these episodes each and every week. Now, this is episode 125. I have finally decided that, well, I put some other priorities ahead of putting out this free content. And I know that may sound shocking and I'm all about consistency, but honestly, I would have recommended my own clients the same thing. I was in the middle of enjoying an amazing staycation with one of my really good friends where we were strategizing and just really, really working on some big projects in our businesses. I was running a challenge that was amazing. But with that came a lot more interaction with the community, being really present, all the behind the scenes to make the mechanics of the challenge run very, very smoothly. And my team and myself were getting ready to open the doors to Leverage Lab. And with that being said, I had a lot of irons in the fire, I guess is the best way to put it. 
And when I had to say, am I going to not sleep or not have time with my husband or not be present with my girlfriend that came into town to be with me or my other girlfriend that came into town and it was her birthday or my best friend, it was her birthday this last weekend or my nephew, it was his birthday and we did an entire family day. Like I had a choice. Was I going to be worrying about getting out free content for the podcast or was I going to prioritize what really matters? most. And that's what I chose. And that resulted in my first missed episode of Productivity Straight Talk. And I honestly had to stand in that decision and have grace with myself because I really could have gotten in my head saying it's about consistency and, you know, maybe that I owed you guys another episode. But the truth is in the ladder of what's making my business successful, why I really want to show up for you, why I really provide value weekend and week out, I had other priorities. And I'm sharing that because you will also have to make hard decisions. And if you're not willing to make those decisions of prioritizing where your time and energy goes, you will continue to be stressed out and do things that you kind of regret you did. And I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to do that at the expense of just getting an episode out. That's one part of it. The second part is the topic that I had had slated, I realized is not what I wanted to share with you. And instead of putting together just another episode to hit the deadlines and get an episode out, I need you to know that I value this airtime. I value my time that I am with you each week bringing you this content. And so I would rather bring no content than content that was anything but my A game. So here we are. We missed an episode and there will be times where you're going to miss something in your business. And I want you to have the same grace and the same certainty that it is okay to prioritize when needed. All right. So now that we got that out of it, I I wanted to share that one because I'm not trying to hide behind it, but two, there's a lot of lessons in it. And for you to know that I walk my talk. Okay, so today's episode actually came from things that were happening right inside the challenge last week. And there were statements and things that I was hearing that I was like, hmm, there's got to be more to this because I kept hearing them over and over. And when I really looked at what was going on, I realized that I was hearing people make statements as if they were true and factual and not looking at exploring what other options there are. So I want you to think about statements that you've made about yourself or your business or just about your circumstances that may not be rooted in truth, but you weren't willing to reframe it and question it to go into solution mode. So here's what I'm talking about. When we say things like, I don't have time, I don't have money, I am not someone that follows through. You are making statements that are literally taking you to the end of the road. Like there's the stop sign. There's no other option. There's no room for, well, if I could create time, what would that look like? If I could come up with X amount of dollars, how would I do that? What I'm saying is, is that you are making very very specific dead end statements that are not focused in solution, but rather planting them as fact. And when we do that, we stop staying curious and we're not in solution mode. One of the ways I can best give an example to this is with my son. So, you know, he's, if you've listened to the podcast for some time, my son's Eric and he's nine years old. And sometimes I'll hear him say things like, I can't do that. And that's it, right? Like if I just let him sit with, I can't do that, there is no room for exploring solutions. And so what I try to do with him is what I'm going to share with you is reframe it into a question. If I could do that, it would look like this. If I, you know, maybe I can't do it now, but I could do it down the road if I were to put in the extra time or effort or say no to something, right? And so by just reframing it into a question of, well, how can I create the time? How can I come up with the money? How can I, you know, do something differently that will allow the truth to be, I do follow through and I do show up for the things that I say I'm going to show up and follow through for? 
I want you to visualize, I'm literally talking with my hands right now, but I want you to visualize the fact that when we make statements as if they are the truth and that they are unquestionable, you are at the end of a dead end road. But if you reframe those statements into questions of like, what if, well, what if I could come up with three ways I can make an additional $500 a month? What if I could figure out how to reclaim three hours a week to reinvest in self-care or sleeping or a new program that I want to take advantage of because that's an investment I'm willing to do? When we start statements with what if and we get more curious with a solution mind, then there's options. Now we're looking at we're at the end of the road with forks, right? We can go right, we can go left, we can go straight, but we're really coming from a place of opening the loop instead of closing the loop. So you want to open the loop with being curious as to what are solutions to make that statement not true. Now, there's another layer to this that I think is worth talking about. And it's the fact that saying things like, I don't have time or I don't have money or resources or fill in the blank, oftentimes that's just an easy way out of not really digging deep to find out what we're really, really saying no to, okay? The fact is, is that you could find the time if the thing that you wanted to make time for was valuable enough, if you knew that you would follow through with it, if you knew that it would be something that would impact your business and your life or your relationships. And so it really actually takes a little bit more work to sit in the, well, what would it look like if I could create time, money, resources? And it's an easier way out to say, it's not the right time. I don't have the money. And I want you to think about how many times you may have said this to perhaps opportunities or people, or maybe just privately to yourself and you were shutting things down instead of inquiring and thinking solution focused about how you can make that thing possible. All right. So here's the deal. When we have statements that we state as factual, it's often a cue that it's a self-limiting belief. Okay. So I could say something like, I do not spell well. Okay. Like that was a fact. That's something that I believed my entire life. But instead I would say, Well, maybe I don't spell well, but I have tools around me to help me with that, whether it's my assistant or as Grammarly or it's just sheer practice and putting in the work. There are solutions. It doesn't need to be the fact of the rest of my life that I don't spell well. But for a long time, I was okay with sitting with that fact and statement at the end of a dead end road because that was easier than looking at the work that it would take to make that statement not true. And so are you saying the same thing about being good with your time? Or maybe you're saying the same thing about how you're showing up in your business or your relationships. I want you to stop and try and to identify one to three statements that you hear yourself telling yourself and ask yourself, could I reframe that to become more inquisitive and curious about what a solution is? Or... Am I taking the easy way out, right? Is is making that statement and everybody around you or yourself saying, yeah, okay, yep, that's true. Is that the easier way out than digging deep and figuring out what's really, really holding you back? You know, I have been going through a few things personally and professionally, and I've got to tell you, it is in those times that when you go through things that you're telling yourself, you often need to have somebody in your ear that you trust and somebody in your ear and in your corner that's going to question your statements and ask, is that really true? And I got to tell you, any good coach is going to do that. I can tell you that I am stopping statements in their tracks with my clients on a regular basis, if not daily basis. And I also seek to surround myself with people that are not just yesing me and really challenging me if one of these statements should bubble up because that's going to push me to dig deeper and problem solve and come to solutions that will absolutely have monumental changes in my business and in my life. Because I am not someone that wants to get stuck and I don't 
think you are either. So to wrap this up, I want you to be so aware of statements that you make and I want you to visualize, are you creating your own dead end at the end of the road? And could you create options and solutions by going left and going right and going straight by just asking questions and through questions, you may uncover possible solutions and through solutions, you then make a choice to take action. Because with no solutions, or even if you, sorry, even if you have solutions, but you don't take action, you're not really that much further off. So the steps are identify that you are making a limited statement, reframe it by asking questions, solution focused. And then once you come up with, you know, a few solutions, select a solution and take action on that solution and move past that self-limiting belief or thought that's been holding you back. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I want you to take a little bit of that. I want you to see how that applies to you. Have you been saying these statements to yourself? Where have you been saying them? How are they serving you? And what are you going to do about it from this point forward? Let's close it out. No change, no change. Without taking action, nothing will change for you or your business. So based on what we covered today, what are you going to take action on? Just as a reminder, if you have not already done so, I am inviting you to go take a look at Leverage Lab, my premier group coaching and training experience. I want you to be in there with us. I know that if you are a loyal listener, you've been listening to Productivity Straight Talk for some time. If you've been getting these little bits and pieces and you've been taking actions and getting wins in your business, just imagine what could happen by working with me in the capacity of this program. I am telling you, I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to take you through all of my frameworks, all of my processes in the most simplistic way. Because look, I know you're overwhelmed. I know you have a lot going on, but something that I have that I think would be a value to you is I can simplify big concepts. I can walk you through and say, don't worry about this. Just focus on this. And when you get this, do this and then do that. And that's what's inside this program waiting for you. If you want to go from surviving to thriving, both personally and professionally, then I invite you to join us inside of Leverage Lab. Head on over to theproductivityspecialist.com forward slash leverage lab. Until next time, have a productive week.